guys. So I've been listening to Cisco Rodriguez, and I am shocked at the amount of people who don't know who in the hell Cisco Rodriguez is, but I was at my uncle's house one time, and he was playing a record, and it was this record here, Cold Fact, I think, and I just really liked him, so I got the CD. I had to go to a different province to get the CD, because they didn't have it here, and I just really liked this album. But it sucks that it's so underground, no one knows about him. But he had kind of a weird career because he produced some albums in the early 70s that did nothing in the States. But in South Africa they were very popular but he didn't know about that. Because there was no internet and there was no way of him to know. So then he wasn't making money producing records and being a musician so he ditched that and had a normal life and a normal job and had a family and over in South Africa people thought that he died they thought that he committed suicide and they had no internet so they didn't know that he was still alive so there's this really cool documentary it's on YouTube but it's on Netflix called Searching for Sugar Man and that basically tells that story but basically someone found him years later and he is now touring again and he came back he made a comeback and I believe he, he has produced he has let out more music in the last few years but he's just amazing and I wish he was I wish more people knew about him and that's why I'm making this video so please look up Cisco Rodriguez on YouTube or on Pandora or whatever and just listen to his music, even if you don't like it, just get a feel for it. Because there's no one quite like him. Thank you.